What's up YouTube? My name is Will and this is my station right here in my garage. So just to go over some things, you can see here, I got my double magnets and these masters, single magnets on top. I got some gel pomade, some cool care, neck dusters, shaving gel, some hair, some spray, water, alcohol, and on top right here, my go-to guards, I got the wall with the clips. I got the half guard, the one and a half guard here. And I got speedo starting with the three zero down to one, two, and three. On this first drawer, I have a set, extra set of double magnets. I got the combs. Do clip rubber comb. Got the smaller combs over here. I got some blades, shears, brushes, straight razor. I got a mirror. And here's my trimmer drawer. I got the Andy Slimline Pros, the wall detailer cordless, Andy Styliner Tubes, Wall Heroes. And the wall details right here with the TY blade. In my next drawer, I got my clippers. Got the Andes Masters black label. The Andes Masters with the fade. These blades are still improved. Not the fade blade. And I got the oldest clipper in my arsenal here. I probably had this for about 14 years. Andes Masters. Still works like a champ. Got the wall senior here. Originally this was the gray cover, but I bought the uh, darker cover. I like the darker look better. And it's still a regular blade. And this is like one of my favorite clippers right now. Uh, the Babylus Pro FXA80. I took out the regular blade that came with this clipper and put a wall blade. Put the stagger tooth on it. Actually cuts really, really good. It's Damn near zero gap. So you can see. Cuts real sharp. I use the wall system with that clipper right there. What I like about that over the the wall seniors, it's just the power and the smoothness. This clipper has more power and it cuts a lot smoother. It just literally eats hair. I got the wall magic clips. Still regular fade blade, but it's got a regular cutting blade on here. I got the Andes NVLI, probably the least of my favorite in this arsenal. I like how light they are, but I don't think they cut too well above any, anything above a number one. They kind of snag or, you know, they kind of don't have that cutting power that you want out of them. I got the Austers Classic 76ers here. I have the 5 op blade and the number one. And I mainly use this clipper to take out bulk start my skin fades or start a skin I use that 5 on my next uh, drawer here I got my charging ports and next drawer I got neck strips and all the extra guards that come I got the Babbish guards I got the wall guards here I got the Andes guards these are not the ones with the little silver clip these are the ones that came after that and they clip on real good they're real sturdy, real strong, but what I don't like about them is that they don't have a lot of teeth. Like if you go to the smaller guards like this one, they only have one, two, three, about seven teeth. So whenever you're trying to hit the corners, you don't have that many teeth to pick up the hair when you're trying to do the corners. Use the corners of your clipper. I got a bag of Speedo guards here. Like I said, I started out cutting with Speedo, so I have a decent amount of those Speedo guards. And then I have the Andy's Envy guards, which I don't like. That plastic is real cheap. Uh, and once I found out how bad those guards were, I bought those single magnets thinking that they were going to be that much better. And they're not too bad. You just have to, uh, that transition from the one to the two is not so great, so you have to either use the Speedo one and a half 
or a wall one and a half and here's my other uh, drawer basically this is like a parts drawer I got some extra blades I got the fade blade here I got a regular blade here and I got a wall here's the other wall guards wall blades and here's the babbleless stuff that I took out replaced it so you can see it's the same size as a regular wall but for some, for some reason they cut different I got my little chair here with my cape I got a mirror and here's my station my next video I'm gonna go over a little bit more in depth about guard systems why I like the guards that I use what I think are the benefits the pros and cons but leave remarks man if you want to go over something ask me questions Go in the comment section. All right, man, I'm out.